I honestly did not think that I was going to be getting this box, but I'm kind of excited I did. Hey guys, Madeline Murray here. Welcome to my channel. Welcome back to my channel. It has been a hot minute. It's It's been been a minute. I have probably had the most intense three months than I have had in a very long time. So we're gonna we're gonna try to get some stuff filmed. I don't know if we actually will or not. Also, I woke up to this really cool like feature on my phone. It was like cinematic view or whatever. And it's showing me that it's picking up a ghost over there. But I look like really focused, which is really cool. Um, so now you can see literally all of my acne, which is fine. Um, I'm doing a skincare video, so that's why I don't really care if I have a lot of acne showing because it's skincare. Um, but I was sent via Influencer the e.l.f. Skin Holy Hydration. Um, I was sent, I believe, to three, four of the, um, products that are here, because I don't believe that I got the gel moisturizer, the peeling, um, face mask, or the eye cream, so that's, that's three that I won't have tried, but in this box, and I also, I love elf boxes, because they're, like, so cute, and anyway, um, yeah, so we have the gel yam moisturizer, we have the holy hydration makeup melting Balm, which is good because you know what I I forgot to take off my makeup last night because it's been been that kind of a week so this is gonna be great um, we have just a elf off makeup remover kind of looks oily um, but we'll see I prefer ones that are not really oily necessarily because it just makes my skin feel weird um, but the last thing is the triple bonus serum with 1.7 multi-weight hyaluronic, hy hyaluronic. I, I know words, I promise I know words, but hyaluronic acid. Um, and as always, this brand, it's uh, e.l.f. clean, vegan, cruelty free. So looking at this product, I'm gonna do like what it says on the box and then like how to use just to get this out of the way i like to read the boxes um to tell you how it should work oh it also says the skin type score that's that's nice anyway so it quenches the skin the skin for this product it quench skin with 1.7 hyaluronic acid serum featuring squalane okay that's just not me these are just hard to say nasamide and vitamin b5 Okay, um, it's supposed to make your skin feel revamped. I hate the big words because I can't say them. Anyway, so three to five drops, freshly washed skin, put in and pat in until completely absorbed and follow with your favorite moisturizer. So this would be like a, you clean your face, you use this, and then you follow it with the moisturizer. That's kind of what I was wanting to know. I want to know like the actual routine that they suggest using it for. Um, and then the moisturizer, plant-based prickly pear, is what it says in it, interesting. Um, so, ready for this jelly? Anyway, lightweight and fast absorbing, non-greasy, that is, that is a great thing. If all of these are non-greasy like that, chef's kiss. Um, so let's just use a small amount, massage into skin. Also for these things, um, skin types for this, it says dry, normal, combination, oily. This says oily and combination, which is amazing because that's, I, I have combination. And so I'm very curious how this is going to work for me because it feels like it's kind of catered towards my weird skin. Now this is the melting balm, again, for dry, oily, and combination skin. Melts away your makeup while removing impurities and cleansing skin. This balm transforms into a luxury milky oil that rinses off and just a dime size and it has a little scooper so I'm guessing you use however much is in that scooper. And then the last thing is just the makeup remover. 
dry normal combination oily easily removes makeup so this is just a this is a makeup remover but it sounds like this is a makeup remover plus it's like treating acne that's the way that it said impurities a lot of brands use impurities is the word for acne so that's interesting and my goodness where's my clip i have tucked my hair back if it falls into my face now i'm gonna be i'm gonna lose it we're gonna scrap the video um but yeah so this is a good a good little mix of stuff and it seems like it's really focusing on the oily kind of combination skin type where i've seen a lot more be focused on like dry skin i'm trying to get this wrapping off you can just give me a second. this collection it was like an icy blue vibes which i love so what i'm gonna do is because like i said i still have makeup on my face and it's gross um but for half of my face i'm going to use this cleansing balm the other half i'm going to use this uh makeup remover just see which one i like see if one leaves a residue or something like that even though i know it says you know they're not supposed to also the liquid looked kind of blue i know you cannot see that and it's already dry but that was interesting so just gonna dab it in for it being as oily as it looked in the bottle i'm not currently feeling anything it also has a very interesting smell but it's not a bad smell and it's not very strong either so we got some grimy makeup i want to let that sit because maybe it needs to dry down a little bit more before i can feel any oils but as of right now it feels really good if that makes sense like it's already left my skin but it kind of has like a cooling effect to it which is very interesting it says soothes and hydrates skin and lashes that's what it says right here you cannot see that either like slay no come on <gasps> we got it to focus anyway soothes and hydrates skin and lashes so what i'm feeling right now is i guess the soothing or the hydrating or the whatever my skin feels very dry to the touch, which is interesting. I don't know. I know. I know it's it's melted in. I know like it's it's not gonna feel wet, but I meant like it doesn't feel greasy. And it's a very interesting feeling for the fact that there is definitely like an oil or something in it. This is this is very interesting looking. But I digress. We're going to move on to the balm and. I have to unwrap everything. Let me tell you, unboxing these boxes was, uh, it was a lot of work because they, they really, they like put in an extra, like the hidden layer thing. I just, I know I couldn't do it. And it was really hard getting this one out. Cause like the top part of it was poking out, but like the rest of it was under the other layer. Okay. I think that's about a dime. I don't know. I shouldn't be judging the sizes of things. Okay. Smells down pretty good. I'm just gonna do the other side of my face. This feels very oily. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. Like this feels like I am putting a moisturizer or just an oil, which I mean, it's a, it's a balm. I know how these things work. They do feel very oily, but whoo. I don't know if my skin's gonna like it is the thing. I wanna take back what I said about this little baggie that was holding the spoon because I have nowhere to put this spoon, so I have to put it back in the little baggie because it's dirty now. Um, and I'll clean it in a minute, but... So if I had to decide, um, I think that I actually like the um, Holy Hydration Elf Off Makeup Remover a little bit more than the Balm. I definitely... It just felt like a lot of oil on my skin and I didn't really like the texture of it as I put it on but that's just a personal thing but it feels fine I will say that this side feels a little bit more hydrated this one feels a little bit more tight because you know you have to wash it off and stuff so I mean no noticeable difference I did not break out or not break out but I did not have a bad reaction if you've been on this channel for a while you know I have sensitive skin so and my cat has found the box. So if you hear her, we're gonna try to t tone her out a little bit. But yeah, I think that I could feel a difference in using these. I think that I would probably prefer the makeup remover and maybe the balm for if I have like 
a full glam, full face, like easy take off. Cause just having like concealer, powder and stuff on my face, it wasn't a whole lot for it to strip off. So I don't know, but like, I will say that this one feels a little bit more tighter. Next is the Soothing Triple Bounce Serum. And I'm trying to get it untwisted. I love these little like dropper ones. Okay, it's stringy. I guess I thought it was gonna be more liquid. It's more stringy, kind of gooey. So interesting. It has dried down and it feels fine. No burning, irritated skin whatsoever, which is nice. I will say that this has a weird closing fit to it. You kind of have to like really push it down and twist because I was sliding it on a minute ago and it was not closing, but it can. You're just gonna kind of get it a little bit of oomph. And um, yeah, so we're closing her back up. It was an interesting choice because I've talked about how it was a little bit gooey. Um, and for oily skin, a lot of that kind of stuff just makes it worse. Whereas this stuff has been making my skin feel dry, moisturized, but dry, not in a stripped, my skin feels tight. It feels like it's moisturized, which is so interesting, especially with the, the makeup remover having the oil in it. And you can see that there's like some kind of oil reaction going on to it. But yeah, so it's interesting choices. But it's kind of amazing that they were able to kind of use these different textures and stuff, but still have it not leave a residue and keep your skin feeling normal, if that makes sense. Now this is the gel moisturizer. It is clear, um, no smell. And I didn't smell anything with the drops or the balm. So I'm going to moisturize in the places that I normally moisturize my forehead, my cheeks, my chin, my neck. Y'all, some of y'all are missing y'all's neck when y'all moisturize and y'all need to start doing it. Um, but yeah, and then I'll take what's left, which is like barely anything, and I'll just kind of smooth it around the rest of my face. I probably didn't even need to use that much. I probably could have used a little bit less. I used maybe a quarter size, whatever a quarter looks like. I probably could use like a nickel or maybe even a dime because it kind of went a long way, but yeah. And this also no, no residue, just moisture. I, I like it. Um, this is my first time using it. This is like a try on of these products. So if you want to see how they work for you, I recommend getting them, trying them, see how they work for skincare. This might be something that later on I can make another update as to using it, but this was just a first time try on of these products. But I think that they kind of did what they said, which is wild. The fact that they could have kind of these products that seem like they would be greasy and they're actually not. Um, but yeah, so that was these products. Um, I really enjoyed the Gel Yeah moisturizer because it's hard for me to find like moisturizers that don't leave a residue, even with like some of my favorite ones that I use currently, they still have that little weird oily feeling and it kind of messes up my makeup after I use them because I'll go to put on foundation and I'll make it beat up because just the textures are weird. Um, so yeah, this was actually a really good collection. Um, I think that it might be something that can help with uh, combination or oily skin. None of this gave me a reaction, which I'm pretty surprised by, especially the balm because I have used makeup removing balms in the past and especially in high school. And I thought the tingling meant it was working. No, the tingling means you're having a reaction. Okay, we're fixing to go half breakfast. That's what that meant. But yeah, I used to use one of these and it would really like burn my skin. And I didn't get any burning sensation from any of the stuff I tried on today. And I'm really thankful for Influencer for sending me these to continue to use and try. So that has been the video of just the Holy Hydration kind of try on testing. And if you get these products, let me know how they work for you. And yeah, it is it has been a very rough three months. Maybe there will be an update video. Maybe there will be more videos. I don't even know. Maybe this might not even get up. That was a good taste of uh, spiraling, but I digress. Um, that's the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. If you stuck around this long for my end of video rant, 
Um, I upload every Monday and Friday. And subscribe if you're new here. If you're not new here, Carol Bell's be notified every time I upload. It's every Monday and Friday, and I'll see y'all next time. Bye.